Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to um, another exciting finance committee meeting. We are hopefully towards the end of our um, budget finance committee meetings. For those of you watching on Facebook that are feeling sad about that, don't worry, this is a busy committee. We're going to have at least one meeting in December, um, but we are going to give our committee members a bit of, and staff a bit of a break. <laughs> um, so I would like to, uh, we have uh, committee members, Judy Deshay, Alfredo Ballerin, um, Mike O'Brien with us. I'm sure we'll have more join us. We also have council members, Joyce Love, Kathy Fahey, Richard Conti, uh, Council President Corey Ellis. Um, we are joined by our incredible staff, Danielle Gillespie, Michelle Andre, J.R. Pichardo. Um, we also have the amazing budget staff. We are joined by not just one Nick tonight, we've got both in the house. We've got Nick Riley and Nick Blaze, and from the mayor's office, David Gallen, and of course, the incredible Brett Williams from Corp Council's office. Um, I think, um, Richard, if you are comfortable with, oh, with it, um, maybe we can start with your MC. Um, so we have a couple things that will be coming on tonight as MCs that we're not going to, they're not formal um, ordinances or resolutions that we can pass out of our committee, but we can kind of note that we uh, support them. Um, so this evening we'll be discussing um, uh, resolution 110.1112.20R, um, which has the salary adjustments in them. Um, all of which we did discuss in different pieces. So it should be something that is um, familiar to everyone. Uh, of course, we have uh, staff here to answer any additional questions you might have. Um, and then we're also going to discuss ordinance 43.1112.20R, um, which is also going to be an MC, which um, discusses BZA membership. Although, um, I'm not sure. Let me just note that um, committee member Jamel Robinson is here as is um, President Pro Tem Kelly Kimbrough. Ginny? Yes. So the BZA uh, changes would be appropriate for a planning committee meeting. And That's what I was thinking, and it was it was sent out and I was running with it and I thought, I don't know if this is entirely appropriate for us to talk about. Yeah, I think it's appropriate to talk about it in caucus. Um, well, then uh -huh. let's wait on that and we'll talk about it in caucus. I agree. Um, so why don't we go right into the salary adjustments? Um, resolution 110.1112.20R. We did discuss it on Thursday, um, but there were a few changes that were coming through it. Um, there were several versions that were sent out today and the, um, the most recent one was sent out. Are there any questions with that? Any concerns to note? What, what version are we talking about? Is it the one that Michelle just sent out? Yes. Okay. So are we going to be having a budget amendment B? To take out, to take on what has been taken out of this most recent version. Um, yes, and actually, if Jr. you don't mind, there is a version that um, that we've been looking at, kind of, and I think he is ready to send that out. I don't know if that is ready to go yet, Jr. or not. It should be, <laughs> so we can look at it. Um, Although I don't know if that is, okay, yeah, so you have that as AA, but it would be B, I think. Can you send that out to everyone, JR? And I apologize for the confusion on that. That was actually 
um, in my interest in streamlining things. Um, the um, that should be coming out. So are there any questions on um, the salary piece in the meantime? Go ahead, Judy. So I just want to note, I'm realizing um, that, um, first of all, I want to make sure people know that there's, there's been a significant correction in the um, totals um, on, uh, on this. Um, and I think that we have it correct at this point. Um, but I'm also noticing that we provide an explanation for all the changes except for the change to the mayor's salary. Um, and I'm wondering if anybody you know, thinks that maybe it's appropriate for us to explain to the public why we're changing the mayor's salary, which we're really kind of not doing. <laughs> Um, that, that would be best to discuss in a public meeting. I'm glad you brought it up. Um, okay. I think it does make sense to have it in there. I'm not sure. Um, maybe if staff can speak to why it wasn't included in there. Sure. I, uh, this is Nick here, uh, Nick Blaze from the budget office. Uh, that was one that we did. I didn't think honestly needed an explanation because we reduced the mayor's salary line um, to reflect what it would be if she were to take 1552 an hour uh, for the year in solidarity with um, the lowest paid city employees. But it was pointed out that um, it's not appropriate to uh, permanently decrease the salary for that elected position per the charter. So although she's still going to elect to do that, um, this is just restoring her salary to the previous level um, as required in the charter. So maybe, maybe, I mean, I'm just thinking, I'm realizing it is kind of loaded. It almost looks like, you know, potentially some people would construe it as we're opposed to her taking a reduction in her salary. Um, so maybe just saying something to the effect the mayor's salary has been increased to recognize that we can't decrease her her salary legally but that she how it, it how is it that she but she can temporarily authorize i don't know what it is that um, maybe nick or Mike the, um, i believe that any city employee could elect to take um an amount less than their position is authorized for provided it's in within the confines of New York state and any federal labor laws. But um, what those position salaries have to be set at, that's what's talked about in the charter. So um, that's why we just have to bring it back up. And uh, that just explains that why we're, why we're doing that. So chairwoman, I leave it to you as to whether or not you wanna have something put in the sponsor's memo on this. It is kind of a complicated thing to communicate. Um, do any other committee members or council members have any feelings on this? I think the explanation you just gave us, why wouldn't that be written in there? Uh, written in it. He just said why. I mean, we just, you should just write that in the explanation piece. And basically that, go ahead, Mike. Yeah, I would agree uh, with Corey and with Judy, because otherwise somebody's going to come to the budget and ask why the mayor is getting this huge salary increase when in fact she's not. Doesn't have to be a long explanation. 
Um, so perhaps something along the lines of, um, as per the city <laughs> charter, the mayor's salary um, cannot be changed. Yeah, that um, even though the mayor is elected to receive a salary, salary comparable to the minimum city pay, uh, the charter does not allow her salary to be diminished, but she can elect to return it or however you're going to put it. But it's not really a pay increase, it's just keeping the status quo. Right. Um, I'd like to note Councilmember Holy has joined us. Um, So I have language, possible Thank language. Uh, the mayor's salary is being increased in the budget to reflect the fact the mayor's salary cannot be legally reduced in the budget, comma, but that she can voluntarily take a reduction outside of the budget as she plans. That sounds great. Is it? Can you repeat, the, can you repeat that one more time for me? I'm sorry, what'd you say, JR? Can you repeat that one more time? I'm making the edits right now. Sure. The mayor's salary is being increased in the budget to reflect the fact the mayor's salary cannot be legally reduced in the budget. I think we should per the charter. What do you think? Per, per charter? Per the charter? I think city that charter. I think it, uh, no, uh, the city of charter should be mentioned. Should we list, list what section? So per, per the charter, okay. And now I'm going, and then I have the rest of the clause, but that she can voluntarily yep. take a reduction outside of the budget process as she plans. but that she can take a reduction. Outside of the budget process, as she plans, she can voluntarily take a reduction is the words I used. Can voluntarily take a reduction outside the budget process as she plans. Can I just suggest maybe saying the mayor's salary is being increased um, in the amendments to the budget, uh, just because it's it's a little confusingly worded how it's saying that. Um, well, I guess it's all right. Well, as I was reading it, I was realizing it's really it's being increased in this resolution, right? Which that, is yeah, which is an amendment to the budget. Is this okay or? Oh, the mayor's salary is being increased in the budget. So we want to say is being increased in the resolution, comma, the resolution, which is an amendment to the budget. In this resolution? Okay. Which is an amendment to the budget. to reflect and then the word reduced just needs a d on the end and i would i would make it one sentence with a comment before the but 
How about a semicolon? <laughs> How about the word, however? However, and then you, yeah. Yes. Good to go. I'm good with that. I think it looks good. Um, JR, can you pull up the, um, document that you just sent out, maybe we can just do it that way. Okay. The ordinance you're talking about, right? Yes, the okay. budget ordinance. Yep, one second. I just wanna note that council member Igo has joined us as well. It's up. Okay, so I wanted to get um, specifically Judy and Richard's input on this um, to ensure that we we're doing this in the correct way to um, continue to have the council um, oversight over, you know, making sure that council oversight over our budget is intact um, and we're not doing anything to set precedent to suggest otherwise. Is Richard here? He was here. You gotta see how that. Uh, yeah, I'm here. Uh, so this is not what we had talked about in terms of, we talked about the ordinance, there being a separate am amendment A and then a separate amendment B. Yeah, that's correct. Um, I was sent, I, I don't remember off the top, top of my head by whom, uh, an example of how we had done it last year after we had talked about it in the committee meeting um, and was asked or suggested that I put it together in this way. So, I mean, this essentially takes all of the uh, information that was in Amendment A and just synthesizes it into the text of the ordinance itself. And I believe that we had a hesitation with amendments because amendments, attachments, I'm sorry, attachments were getting lost. <laughs> right. Yeah, which I think we had discussed in one of the meetings. And that is where my confusion you can see the root of my confusion there because we had, we did have a lot of discussions about different pieces of how we were going to try to not do attachments and um, so here we are. For the record, uh, what Brett ended up doing, he said he was going to do actually in, in speaking about this. He said he was going to take it and add it directly in. So, which, which yeah, and this is what he attached in the last, in the last week's thing. It's all embedded in here in the code. I mean, in yeah, the, um, and, uh, I should mention as well, there are, uh, I think, two alterations from what had been attachment A, um, both of which Council Member Doshet had requested, suggested, however you want to look at it. And I think they are. Um, this one, I believe, is the generalist too. And then. Yep, item E. And then in item J, uh, we changed the language there a little bit to reflect the uh, probably soon to be new reality of the waste collection fee late payment. Right. Well, I certainly have never seen a chart like that put into a budget ordinance. Okay. Um, usually we have the increases to expenditures and increases to revenues and decreases to expenses and decreases to revenues as appropriate. 
in these, you know, that we list here, um, A and B. So I, this business of um, adopt, adopting everything at once. So here's, here's the thing is in the past, we've had budget, we've had the ordinance and then we've had amendments proposed to the budget ordinance in the full meeting. And those have gotten voted on separately and sometimes they get voted down. Uh, and that was kind of like the point that Richard was making is that the amendments are to the mayor's budget. So, you know, you can choose, you can make the decision, you just wanna put the mayor's budget forward as is, or maybe you wanna have these amendments and usually everybody gets to vote on the grouping of amend, you know, the amendments as, as they have been grouped uh, together. And then the ordinance moves forward either without those amendments or not. There's, so there's a process that we go through. Is it beneficial to, it, does it create problems to not go through that process and now establish a new process where the committee is voting out the budget ordinance with the amendments and um, and, and now you vote up or down on the entire budget on the floor, you vote up or down on the entire budget as amended and you don't get to vote on the, any of the individual amendments. So I will say in one of our recent budget meetings and one of the things that caused this confusion was that um, we also talked about how difficult it was to, when looking at past budgets, to have um, these additional amendments, um, which, uh, go ahead, Mike. Um, yeah, and, it, and it's been a totally open process. And uh, I haven't heard any council member uh, state that they disagree with any of these uh, amendments we're making being all put into one uh, attachment. So I would think it's okay. And, and yes, I guess there were some critiques of the old, old process being burdensome. Personally, I don't, I don't have a problem doing it this way. So as Richard pointed out, normally what should be happening when you pass the ordinance is when you pass the ordinance, you, you put the ordinance on the floor, you make an amendment. If that amendment goes in, then the official version of the ordinance should be as amended with those changes within the text of the ordinance. Ditto, you know, so if we did amendment A and amendment B, that is what should be happening. And so that process got a little garbled, um, I guess. I, do, I wasn't aware of the fact that we didn't have those official documents, frankly, until, um, until Brett was saying something about it the other day. I didn't know that there was, was not a final as amended for any of these. Generally, whenever there's, um, you know, amendments made on the floor, it, it is supposed to be then the final document as amended that is recorded and appears in the min minutes, et cetera, um, once the actions have been taken and duly recorded. So, um, so, do we have any amendments to offer at this point time? 
We Jeff, have Amendment A. Yes, A, 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 and B. And I mean, other than those, like you might want to call them hostile amendments or whatever. Well, they're really nice amendments. Any line I right? can that they want to amend. <laughs> <laughs> they might want to amend to A or B. Um, so well, we I no think longer, we no longer have amendments A or B, Joe. We no longer have that. We have one ordinance as amended. So let's, you know, if that's what we're doing, then that's what we're doing. Are there, are there any line amendments, line amendments you might want to call them anything that wanted to be proposed? Otherwise, are we spinning our wheels here? Well, I don't think we've heard any substantive changes beyond what has been included in this tonight. So I guess it's all right there. Right here. Right here. I don't know what does what does Brett Brett think? Uh, as I've <laughs> a crutch I've leaned on several times throughout this process is that this is my first uh, budget, so. Um, I, I guess I did it this way um, because this is how the um, ordinance, which last year was 3310119, was passed at the time. That, that was the ultimate version that was passed, so I uh, went off that example. Um, and we had discussed at one of the meetings last week synthesizing this all and avoiding the use of attachments um, in the future just for the sake of clarity. So what I'm hearing perhaps, and correct me if I'm wrong here, is that the ordinance gets presented in sort of a blank form, just saying, um, you know, with attachment A or whatever. And then the final version after passage synthesizes the, the amendments into the body into of the ordinance. Into a newly like, printed budget, into a new, into a final version of yeah. the budget. Rather than okay, right. on this yeah. version, we could, you know, obviously I still have, and we should all still have the original version of 27 <clears throat> 102 20 still available. And we could just as easily pass that version, I suppose, and then do it the old way and synthesize the changes into the body of the ordinance afterward. JR, do you have a suggestion? I don't. I mean, unless you anticipate legal problems with us doing it this way, is there any harm done? Because the final budget is going to reflect this accurately. I'm just trying. I'm just trying to find. I think in 2017 we amended. It was either 2017 or 2000. 16 that we did an amendment that impacted council salaries and I'm trying to see if I can bring that up. I bet you Michelle can do it a lot quicker than I can. Probably she, can. can. she probably already has it pulled up. <laughs> Unfortunately, I was not with the council at that point. <laughs> My budget season. <laughs> Which the, is, I'm okay. sorry, uh, if you know the legislation number, I'm in the, my desktop. I could look for it if you give me a number and possibly send it out. I have the blank ordinance without the number. Oh, but I betcha. Hmm. I think I may have found it. Well, that would be great. Was it an adjustment to the um, senior legislative aid uh, position in December 12th of 2016? Is that the that one? Sounds, that sounds good. All right, I'll send it to you. 
So if I could just get some clarity right now, it seems like we're talking about several things and maybe everybody else is fully caught up, but I myself am a little confused by exactly where we are. So are we discussing um, the process by which we are amending the budget, whether it's an attachment or not? Have we made a decision on that? Because I think that that and the salary for our employees are like we kind of need to discuss the figure out that process and then we can figure out how we do the salary for employees. Um, personally, I think um, it, as best we can streamline things for historical accuracy, I think that discussion that we had last week made a lot of sense. Um, unless there is, as Mike pointed out, unless there is uh, a big issue with it. Of course, I don't want to, I think that we also have to be careful about not limiting um, council's uh, power or things that we can do. Um, but we, um, I guess that's my two cents on it. I think it, it's important if it's difficult to go back through past budgets. I think that that's actually significant, um, something that's rather significant. My preference would be, unless there's a legal reason not to, go with what we, you know, kind of thought we were going to do at the last meeting, do it by the attachment process. Which then, as Brett said, gets ironed out in the final version of the budget that gets printed. Okay. So is that what we're doing for this evening and we're set with that? Do other council members want to weigh in? Say yes. <laughs> <laughs> the way I look at it, if you don't like it this way and you want to go back the other way, you can do this next week sometime. <laughs> 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 Joe, always the voice of reason. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm inclined. So to... the other thing I, uh, uh, okay, so there's an issue with um, the formatting that what, what, Dan, what Danielle sent me is not actually the budget amendment, but something we did subsequently. Um, uh, uh, so I don't, we're, we're amending, you know, the, the, the whole formatting thing is like, I, I don't understand why some of it's in an Excel spreadsheet and some of it is laid out, um, you know, in different lines. Generally you list your, your increases and then your decreases. Um, but that's the way I was taught, um, you know. Um, so I have now misplaced this. So the other thing is, did, uh, where is this? Um, I had talked about there being explanations for these changes. Um, being inserted into into this in, into the um, sponsor's memo, um, and there are things like we're adding a bullet for a million dollar tax levy increase that is not explained here. Are we increasing? that um are we um are we on our own adding in a hr journalist position at a rate of forty five thousand dollars without coming up with the money for that um so the hr generalist position was approved in the resolution in the beginning of the pandemic i can pull that up again that's why it's in there well i know do you want me to but put an act? Do you want me to put I, an amendment? You know. I, uh, Do you want me to put in there a reference to that resolution? I mean, I, uh, 
I had mentioned at the last meeting how I thought we, the sponsor's memo should, just like we did for the resolution, explain some of these um, changes. Um, I'm sorry, Councilwoman Doshet. I think I may have found it. I think is it this 51 2017 budget. There was budget amendment A and B back in 2016. Are those the two documents that would be helpful for you? Uh, yeah, but I don't know that we're going to be changing the format at this point uh, of this document. But yes, I would love to see that. I would love everybody to see that actually. And I appreciate your looking, Danielle. No problem. So there, so there are specifically changes in this document that I don't, um, you know, as I pointed out in the meeting that I thought would be good from a historical and explanation to the pub public purpose to have some explanation in here. So I take it that the decision was made that that was not necessary. And if that's the decision, you know, I'm, ju I'm just pointing out that that was something that was discussed. I thought it was going to be done. Um, but maybe that was an assumption. I have to say, Judy, I don't remember you discussing that in the meeting. I do remember I saw an email from like four o'clock that you mentioned that in, but um, I, I personally don't remember that from the meeting. And I apologize um, because I, that is something that um, I completely did not uh, that did not register for me in my notes. For what it's worth, that would be why I didn't make those changes to the sponsor's memo either, because I, I didn't remember that particular portion of the conversation at the committee meeting. Again, it may have happened and I as well just happened to miss it, but uh, that's why there's no changes like that in there because I, I didn't, didn't recall that being asked. I do want to point out- I did raise this issue also in my email on Saturday. Which I don't believe I- You didn't get, no, you didn't get it. That was to um, Kelly, Ginny and uh, JR. Okay. Um, and Michelle, when I received the, um, the budget ordinance amendment. So I, I, you know, I don't want anybody to think that I'm raising it at the last minute this afternoon in email. Again, where we're at, can we make up our mind if we want to proceed this evening? Do you want to go back and do this thing over, do it the other way, or pass this thing this evening? I personally would like to pass it this evening. Yeah, I would too. And unless there's a legal problem, which the is, is if you want to do it this way on, let's make sure the next year it's done this way from the beginning that we don't, but it's the last minute, if, you know, unless we want to come back. So, so unless the there's a demonstrable problem with this format, I would say go with this format. It, Judy, is the do you see a, an issue with this format or is it just, just a matter of a preference uh, from the way we, we usually do things? Well, the, um, this is two different formats, right? We're doing changes in two different styles here in the same document. Um, and we're not, and we're not explaining it. Um, I mean, there's nothing to preclude us from moving forward uh, with this as far as I see. Um, I'm trying to look at you know, prior documents to see if I'm seeing anything that then sparks. And Richard, you wanna chime in here? 
Richard had a power outage, so he is unable oh. to be with us right now. <laughs> yes, oh, he, would have chimed, he would have chimed in by now. He um, would have definitely weighed in by now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so you see that we're doing, we have one document and we're doing increases and decreases in different formats. And that's, I mean, you know. Uh, Do you mean you in terms of the graph? That's easy to change. So there were two different graphs. I believe JR sent the other graph out. So that will be the same as everything else. I, I think I'm, I'm having issues following you so, and I apologize yeah. for that. Um, if you mean the graph, that's a very easy fix that I believe JR has already done. Is there another inconsistency? Uh, no, I don't think so. Then that is an easy fix that we can just move on with our hearts hold. Um, and JR, did you wanna, did you, do you wanna pull that up? So I made the changes here and I, I can just, if you give me like about five minutes, I can make these changes, you know, uniform like this, if you just five minutes. <laughs> we sure have done a lot of amendments in the past. <laughs> All right. Um, all right, so not the way I would do it, but um, I'm not, you know, I, I, I think the explanations would have been um, helpful. Uh, maybe I should have emphasized that point more uh, last week. Um, uh, but that again does not stand in the way of the uh, legal appropriateness or the rationale for um, you know the justification for actually moving forward. It's just it's in our heads. We know. And don't ask me about it two months from now. <laughs> I think, um, and I'm happy to discuss with Jr. and Brett. I. I think we can vote on the budget and if it doesn't seem impossible to, um, to add in some explanations after the point, but this allows us to not have to come back for a second meeting and move forward. Yeah, I have no interest in coming back for another meeting. I think, every, oh, I think everybody agrees. Um, Alfredo, do you have your hand up there? Well, I'm sorry, um, Madam Chair. I, I did. I do have uh, Council Member Conti on the line, and I don't know if there's a question for him still. And Fantastic. We, want... we can hear you. Hello. Can you hear him? Okay. I can. Yes. Hear. Yep. Okay, so they can hear you, and you can hear them. If you want to pose the question. Someone had a question specifically for so, him. So the, I was asking Richard how he felt about um, the different formatting, but now JR is taking care of the different formatting for. Yeah, I mean, it, it says the same thing one way or the other. So the content is correct. OK. Am I being heard? Yep, they can hear you. You heard it, it says the pretty much the same thing and the content was okay. You got so okay. All right. All right, thank you. Thank you, Richard. Okay. Bye bye. Good luck with the power. Is he gonna stay on? Does he wanna stay on? Um, so are we good with this piece to have it be voted on tonight? I am. Great. Fantastic. 
Um, and then we still have uh, resolution number 110-1112-20R. Did we fully discuss that? Um, I think we're, as a committee, we're uh, comfortable with that as well. I am. Um, and, and, and we we made that amendment to the, the mayor's, you know, clarification. Yes. Yeah, why, that why, why we are increasing her salary. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, Which is actually an important, I mean, I think it's a pretty important part of the city code um, to have in there. So uh, also this evening, we will be um, voting on our budget intent resolution, which was also sent out. Were there any um, additional notes on that or anything? Yeah. I'm good with it. Great. And um, again, big thanks. Oh, great. Uh, big thanks to uh, Richard, who is not officially here with us, but um, and Judy for uh, they did a, quite a bit of editing and work on that. Um, there were a couple edits that I had um, suggested that I still think um, minimally are necessary. I mean, you know, you don't have to adopt everything that I, I have recommended, but on the top of page three, we talk about it should be further, the um, capital plan should be further improved to include regular reporting of the, and I had put in initially when I had made these amendments progress, but mm -hmm. it came out process. So we really want progress of the capital projects and expenditures is what we're looking for. Agreed. Uh, with regard to page, on page three, I don't know if this is just my odd preference, but um, in the last sentence, it says these monthly reports are in addition to and not a substitute to. I would usually use the word for, and I don't, I don't know, are not a substitute for the more comprehensive quarterly reports from the treasurer. It still strikes me as odd to say, keep the word to in there. I agree, yeah. So that's uh, and the next, um, at, at the beginning of the next one, the budget contains, and S is missing. Yep. Down in police reform, this was an edit that was kind of picked up, but misinterpreted. Uh, there's a dash in the second sentence after police reform. Mm -hmm. uh, and that was actually a deletion of a comma that comes out looking like it's a dash in red. Yep. So, so that just comes out. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, right. You said we have a presumption and what? And then on the last page, the last line under South End Community Center, Community Center remains capitalized when it's not a title. So I would make that small. The adjustment was made elsewhere in that paragraph but not there. Um, so community center capitalized? Oh yes, I see. We'll, so look, just... to, we'll look to build a, an additional community center in the South End. So that- That's not the title of the community right. center. So it's just lowercase. Yep. Um, great. And just a quick, uh, I'm just not able to find where the, process part, the very first change that you? At the top of page two. Oh, at the top of page two, that, that's my problem. I was looking at page three and I could not find it. Okay, top of page two. That this document should further, should be further improved to include regular reporting of the, the pro progress. Are you seeing that now? Yep, I got it. Thank you. I was on the wrong page. 
Um, okay. Um, I'm going to put those in. Uh, JR is working on the ordinance, and um, I'll send those over to him, and we should be ready to go. Thank you all very much. Jenny, uh, are we going to be are we going to be voting on any of the um, of the bonding amendments, bonding ordinances tonight? Or okay, yes. Okay. Um, we're not going to be vote. We're going to be voting on all of them that pass through the committee. Um, okay. We're not going to uh, the obviously the street, the sidewalk, and the ADA compliance for the street and sidewalk. Um, we're not going to. Um, those will probably go to the committee in the December meeting that I talked about. Um, and, and and the um, and then there's also the capital reserve for the IT. Yes, that we will be voting, that, on. That's we'll be voting on that as well. And then I also plan to withdraw the other resolutions. Okay, great. Um, just to get as much cleaned up as possible. So, so with that, um, why don't we I give everybody five minutes to stretch your legs and grab a quick snack um, before our caucus. Thank you all so much. Um, and I'll see you in a, just a few minutes. We log out and log back in. Yes, Michelle. I believe um, Michelle sent out the, um, the next meeting. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thanks.